Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds. In order to build more nuclear power plants as the nuclear industry would like, or start up the vulnerable plants in Japan that Prime Minister Abe is pushing to do, or to continue to operate the hazardous Mark I reactors that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission continues to allow to be run without their Fukushima modifications, nuclear power corporations and proponents worldwide need you to accept these four myths. The first myth is that nuclear power is safe and that there is no risk. Nuclear proponents claim it is clean, safe, and green and that it's the world's answer to climate change. They also claim that the chance of a nuclear meltdown is one in a million per reactor year. Do the math. There's 400 nuclear plants. So that calculates out to no meltdowns in 2,500 years. If those 400 plants had begun operation when the Parthenon was built, there still would never have been a nuclear accident. Well, history's proven that figure to be wrong. There have been five meltdowns in the last 35 years. In other words, one meltdown every seven years. If all of the coal plants in the oil plants worldwide were replaced by nuclear power plants, the math shows we could expect one meltdown every year. Is that a risk you're willing to take? The second myth is that no one has died as a result of nuclear accidents. The truth is that as many as a million people have already died from radiation releases due to nuclear power plant accidents without counting any of the radiation-induced cancer deaths expected from Fukushima. In his landmark cancer study following the Three Mile Island accident, epidemiologist Dr. Steve Wing definitively showed that there were significant cancers. You can check out Dr. Wing's full presentation at the Pennsylvania State House on the 30th anniversary of the Three Mile Island accident. It's on the Fairwinds website. As many as a million people have died at Chernobyl, according to Dr. Alexei Yablikov in his landmark book, Chernobyl, Consequences of a Catastrophe for People and the Environment. Worse yet, in an effort to hide the truth, key Soviet scientists were thrown in jail when they published Chernobyl mortality data indicating cesium-caused heart deformities in young children. Jailing scientists and destroying data that proved illnesses and death doesn't mean that nuclear power radiation-induced deaths did not occur. Maggie and I discussed this brave scientist and other whistleblowers around the world in our recent presentation at Clarkson University, which is also featured on the Fairwinds website. The third myth that nuclear proponents want you to believe is that nuclear power is the only feasible alternative to global warming. Again, it's not true. Nuclear power is not new, and it's not modern, but instead is a technology developed more than 60 years ago and is dependent on large electric distribution centers. We've entered the second decade of a new century since those nuclear reactors were built. And thanks to advancement in computer technology, it's now possible to successfully supply electricity from small renewable sources to almost anywhere. Technological advancements that have created cell phones that have replaced landlines, laptops with more computing power than old mainframe computers are now capable of replacing giant obsolete power stations with small locally controlled and locally owned sources of power. I had a long discussion about new power options with one of my personal heroes, Amory Lovins, founder of the Rocky Mountain Institute. That video is also available on the Fairwinds website. Nuclear, gas, oil, and coal proponents claim that the sun doesn't shine at night and therefore a renewable electric grid is impossible. These same people and corporations are wedded to an old power industry paradigm that asserts that it's possible to safely store the most hazardous radioactive substance known to man for a quarter of a million years. Well, I contend that if scientists can safely store toxic nuclear material 
for thousands and thousands of years, then scientists are certainly capable of designing electric storage that will last overnight. In fact, solar storage technology is already available. The fourth and the final myth that nuclear corporations want you to believe is that nuclear power is cheap. In fact, the cost of a world full of nuclear power plants is prohibitive and would actually leave less money to fund real carbon reduction. New nuclear plants in Georgia and South Carolina and in the United Kingdom will charge twice as much for the nuclear electricity as other energy sources. Former NRC Commissioner Peter Bradford, who served on the Nuclear Regulatory Commission during the TMI accident, said, trying to solve global warming by building nuclear power plants is like trying to solve global hunger by serving everyone caviar. I'm a nuclear engineer. I was a reactor physics instructor and directed nuclear power plant decommissioning, nuclear fuel rack design and construction. I bought into this technology and these nuclear power myths until I saw every safety system fail and witnessed a triple meltdown at Fukushima Daiichi. Nuclear power is not safe. It does kill people. It can be replaced with renewables and it's too expensive to make a meaningful contribution to our world. I'm Arnie Gunderson. I'll keep you informed.